To make everything easy for you, I have provided you with a repository in GitHub. There are actually two repositories that belong to this course, but one of them is important because all the scripts are in that repository and it's called grafana-udemy. Under a folder called docker, you will see that I have provided you with a docker compose file. If you are not familiar with docker, a docker compose file instructs docker that what docker images have to be used and how they connect together. If you scroll down in this page, you will see that I have provided the instruction as to how you can launch your Grafana stack. If you use the provided Docker Compose file, you can get Grafana, Prometheus, Grafana Loki, Grafana Tempo, and Grafana Alloy, as well as a mock data generator called ShoeHub, because we use a company called ShoeHub to generate metrics and work with it in Grafana. And also to work with the open telemetry metrics and traces, I have provided with two microservices that generate metrics and traces. So either clone this repository entirely or download the Docker Compose file and copy it into a folder on your local machine where your current user has right access to. And then run docker compose up d. Then navigate to localhost 3001. You don't need to do anything, all the data sources will be created for you automatically and data will appear everywhere for you automatically. So I have downloaded this Docker Compose file. If I get a list, you will see that I have Docker Compose file. So if I say Docker Compose up D, it will start pulling the images from Docker Hub and it will launch the stack. Obviously, to run this command, you must have installed Docker Desktop on your local machine. If you don't have Docker Desktop, consult Dr. Google and see that how you can install it. Now, if we go to Docker Desktop, you will see that there is a stack with so many components in it. You don't really need to worry about what these are. However, if you want to, for example, access Prometheus from your local machine, that is also possible. All you need to do is that to find the container that is for Prometheus. And as you can see, I have done the port mapping. So if you send data to localhost on port 9090, there is a Prometheus there listening. So you can send data from your local machine as well. Likewise for Alloy, Tempo and Loki. To access Grafana, you can see that there is a port mapping of port 3000. If port 3000 is occupied on your machine, modify the Docker Compose file in an editor, for example, in Visual Studio Code, and change the 3000 on the left side of this column to something else. So the left side one is the port on your machine. So if I click on it, I can go to Grafana. As you can see, I didn't have to log in because I have disabled the login for this instance of Grafana just to make it easy for everybody. And if I go to data sources, you will see that automatically three data sources are created for you. If I go, for example, to Prometheus and click on explore data, you will see that I have metrics such as shoe hub, like payments, and then I can say country code AU, and you will see that there is some data in here for me. This is just randomly generated by one of those Docker containers. Likewise, if we go to data sources and we go to tempo, again, we go to explore data and then search, you will see that traces are coming. So you will get telemetry metrics and traces as well. Everything is configured for you. You don't need to do much. So this approach that I provided launches everything for you. However, in every section, I may explain that how you can launch individual component using Docker as well. You can pick and choose. Either you can launch the entire stack with this approach, or you can, for example, say deploy Prometheus locally and then install Grafana using Docker. You can do that as well.